All right, in this lesson, we're going to talk about the distributive property. We've already talked about the commutative, the associative, the identity properties, and the multiplicative inverse, and now the distribution property. Okay, let me give you an example of what we're going for here. Let's say that I have, there we go. The distribution property says, <clears throat> take the outside number that's hugging the parentheses and multiply that number times your x, which keep in mind that's a 1x. So 5 times 1x is 5x, and 5 times a positive 1y is 5y. I'm not trying to solve anything, I'm just trying to distribute the number on the outside to each of the variables on the inside. And we'll use this frequently as we do equations. Before we can solve equations, we have to distribute any terms. Uh, distribute any terms, then we have to combine like terms and then solve. So we'll deal with that soon. All right, let's try another one. Let's say that I have a negative 3 times 2 plus 7x. Let's see, 2 uh, plus 7x. All right, now we're going to multiply the outside. Now keep in mind we're multiplying, so you've got to watch your signs. This is a negative 3 times a positive 2. A negative 3 times a positive 2 <clears throat> is a negative 6. And a negative 3 times a positive 7x is a <clears throat> negative 21x. One negative times a positive is negative. One negative times a positive is negative. So we're finished. That's all it is to distribution. Okay, let's try some more. Okay, I'm going to multiply 4 times what's inside here. And it can be two numbers, three, five numbers, it doesn't matter. We're going to multiply each of these terms by the 4. Watch your signs. That's a 1. If you want to put a 1, it's a positive 1. 4 times 1x is 4x. 4 times a positive 6y, two positives make a positive 24y, and 4 times a negative 2z. 4 times a negative is going to be a negative 8z. There's nothing to combine because we have x's, we have y's, and we have z's. So we're finished with our distribution right there. Okay, let's try, let's try this one. I'd like to do a negative 4y plus 6. And that would be a negative 4 times 1y, and a negative 4 times 1y is a negative 4, and a negative 4 times a positive 6 is a, oh, and put a y on there, is a negative 24. Okay, let's try one more, then we'll make it a little more challenging. How about a negative, and then I'm going to put 8 plus a minus b. All right. Now this, let me tell you, when you see a negative sitting outside of parentheses, it means trouble's coming. That negative says change everything on the inside to its opposite. Well, since a negative 1 would do the same thing, and I like numbers, I'm going to put a 1 right there to remind me, because I like to multiply numbers. A negative times a positive is a negative 8. A negative times a positive 1a is a negative 1a. And a negative times a negative, two negatives make a positive, so that will be plus b or 1b. I can't go any further because all the terms are different. I have an 8, an a, and a b, and those cannot be combined. So we're finished with our distribution. A common mistake that people make is that they're either not looking at their signs or on something easy like this, they'll multiply the first one and get 3x, and then they'll forget or get overly excited and they'll just write plus 2, or they won't watch the sign. Remember, you've got to watch your signs on the numbers that you're multiplying and always multiply the first times the first, the first times the second, first times the third, until you finish with all the numbers in the parentheses. 
All right, let's go to a little more challenging. This time, I'm going to have four times x minus three, and I'm gonna hook on a little something here. Now, we'll save him to the end. The first thing I want to do is I want to distribute, and after I finish doing my distribution, because the four is hugging this, I'll add the two on the end, then we'll see if we need to combine like terms. So here we go, we're gonna go four times x, or four times one x is four x, and four times a negative three is a negative 12. Now I have distributed, but that two is sitting out there waiting for the distribution to finish up. It is, so now I'll just go plus two. Now, I'm not quite finished yet because I've distributed, but it looks to me like I need to combine some stuff here. 4x is okay, so I'll go ahead and write the 4x. But I have a negative 12 and a positive 2. And when you take the difference between a negative 12 and a positive 2, you have a negative 10. So I need to combine those terms. So I now have 4x minus 10 or 4x negative 10. So all I did was added a little something on the back end, but you have to do your distribution first, and then you can combine your like terms. All right, let's try another one similar to that. This time I'm gonna do a negative six, x plus four plus seven. So anytime we have a hugger, whether it be a negative sign, which is a negative one, or a real, a real number, we're gonna multiply first. First times first, first times second. Negative six times x, is a negative 6x, and a negative 6 times a positive 4 is a negative 24. And now I'm finished with the distribution, so I must add on the 7. But once I do that, I see that I can combine like terms. Negative 6x remains, but I have a negative 24 offset by a positive 7. And I believe the difference is going to be 17. But what kind of 17? more negative than positive. That, that's right, a negative 17. So I now have negative 6x, negative 17, or sometimes we just say negative 6x minus 17. Though there's no equation to solve, we're just combining like terms. Distribution and combine like terms. All right, let's try another one. This time I'm gonna put something on the front end. I think I'll go a 4x plus two, and then x minus seven. Now, before you start distributing, you need to look at that 2 and see if it's positive or negative. We've got to grab the sign in front of that 2. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute, and I'll come back and grab this 4x in a minute because he's not part of this, this distribution. The 2 that's hugging is the distribution. So I have a positive 2 times x is a positive 2x, and a positive 2 times a negative 7 is a negative 14. Now I'll put the 4x back on the front end. Okay, now, I think we've got something to combine here. We have a 4x and a 2x, they're both positive. So we have 6x, and then we have the negative 14. So I can add numbers to the front or to the back. Just find your distribution and take care of it, and then add the additional numbers before you begin combining your like terms. Okay? Okay, let's try this. I'm gonna give you one on, something on the front and on the back with a distribution in the middle. Here comes a negative 7x minus 2, 4x plus 3, minus 8. Okay, here we go. Now, you can go ahead and write the negative 7x if you want. You can write the negative 8 if you want. I think I will because they're not a part of this distribution. I'm going to write a negative 7x, and I'm going to come over here and write a negative 8. Okay, now I am left right here with this distribution to do. A negative 2 times 4x is a negative 8x. And a negative 2 times a positive 3 is a negative 6. Now, everybody's in place. It's just a matter of grabbing your like terms. I have a negative and some more negative for a heap big pile of negative here. Negative 15x. And I have a negative 6, and I'm going to give you some more negative 8. And negative and more negative is negative 14. So this time we took care of the distribution in the middle and we had numbers on the front end and the back end, but we just combined it after we finished our distribution. All right, let's try another. Okay, this time instead of adding on the front end and the back end, I'm going to give you two distributions in the same problem to do. Here we go. I'm going to go three 
times x minus 6 plus 2 x plus 4. Now, you see the 3 hugging the x minus 6 and the 2 hugging the x plus 4. So we'll do the first one, we'll do the second one, and then we'll see if we can combine some like terms. Okay, here we go. 3 times x, remember that's a 1x. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times a negative 6, that's right, negative 18. Now that's a positive 2, look at the sign. Positive 2 times x is a positive 2x. I need a sign, don't just say 2x, positive 2x. And a positive 2 times a positive 4 is a positive 8. Now that looks good, but we've got to combine like terms now. So let's go grab our x's because we know what like terms are. We have a 3x and a positive 2x. Bring them together for a total of 5x. We have a negative 18 and a positive 8. More negative than positive, and the difference between a negative eight, an 18 and an 8 is 10. So we're going to go negative 10. So after we do two, two distributions and combine like terms, we have 5x negative 10 or 5x minus 10. Okay? All right, on this one, we have 2x plus 6 in parentheses, and then I have 5x minus 8. Now, you're probably looking for some distribution here, aren't you? But there aren't any numbers to distribute. So i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to write it, I'm just going to take everything out of parentheses and then combine like terms. So here we go. 2x plus 6 plus 5x minus 8. Well, that was easy enough. Now let's grab our x's. We have 2x and 5x, which make 7x. We have a 6, positive 6, and a negative 8. There's more negative. Take the difference. That's going to be what? A negative 2. 7x minus 2 looks like a good answer for me. All right? Now, when this, I want you to keep in mind, because I'm getting ready to show you something interesting. When this, when there's nothing to distribute, and you have a plus sign in the middle, just write everything you see and combine like terms. But now I'm going to give you the tough one. Easily missed, if you're not careful. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give you the same thing, but I'm going to do something just a little bit different here. I'm going to go 4x minus 8 in parentheses, minus 3x plus 7. Okay, now we have already done a negative outside of parentheses before. That negative doesn't mean just a negative 3x, so I can't write 4x minus 8 minus 3x plus 7. Can't do that. That negative is like a negative 1, and it needs to be distributed to both the 3x and the 7. So here's a negative 1. We'll take care of that in a minute. Let's go ahead and bring this out of parentheses. We have 4x minus 8. Here it comes. A negative 1 times 3x is a negative 3x, and a negative 1 times a positive 7 is a negative 7. Now it's time to combine. We have a 4x and a negative 3x, one more positive than negative. So I have 1x, or x, and I have a negative 8, and some more negative 7, and negative and more negative make big old negative. So the answer is x minus 15. So we started out by doing distribution, and then I added to the distribution a number on the front end or the back end, and then I gave you maybe two distributions to do, and I made sure that you had a plus sign between them and a negative sign between them so you'd be on the lookout because you know what negatives do outside of parentheses. So this takes care of pretty much all we need to take care of on uh, distribution.